Hey everyone, and welcome to Top Think. Today we're going to learn about 10 signs you are fake happy. Now let's begin. Number 1. Low Standards Do you have low standards for yourself? Do you expect yourself to accomplish the bare minimum? Oftentimes, our standards reflect how much or how little we value ourselves. For example, many people become complacent in toxic relationships and dead-end jobs. You may believe disappointment is all you deserve. You stop pursuing new opportunities, you don't take risks, and you force yourself to be satisfied with what you have. You pretend to be happy and comfortable, but you're not. Deep down, you're not satisfied with the life you're living, but you don't believe you're worthy of accomplishing anything more. Your standards are set low because you don't have the confidence to aim any higher. The truth is, you deserve to find your definition of happiness, whatever that may be. You have the power to pursue any version of your life, but the longer you keep yourself down, the more difficult it becomes to find the happiness that you're looking for. Number 2. Emotional Fatigue Are you tired all the time? Everyone's tired after a poor night's sleep or a long day at work, but you feel drained every single day. You don't have the energy to spend time with friends, you can't find the motivation to enjoy your hobbies. All you want to do is sleep, but no amount of sleep can relieve the fog surrounding your life. Now, If this sounds familiar, you may be experiencing a significant sign of false happiness. It's called emotional fatigue and it's very common in careers like customer service and hospitality. These people smile all day, pretending to be happy and energetic, but those emotions aren't real. They're part of the job. They're smiling on the outside, but they're not smiling on the inside. In other words, they're projecting an emotion they don't actually feel. Pretending to be happy can be frustrating and exhausting. It's taxing on your mind and your mood, and it's a common sign of anxiety and depression. The more you pretend to be bright and cheery, the less bright and cheery you actually feel. Number 3. Fearing Change Are you afraid of change? People who are happy and confident embrace change with open arms. They overcome new obstacles and face challenges because they have a strong emotional backbone. They have faith in themselves, they understand their worth, and they find confidence in the life they've created. But what if you're barely holding your life together? You may be afraid of change because your life feels fragile. You cling to people, places, or opportunities that you don't necessarily want because you're worried you won't find anything better. In other words, a comfortable and familiar life isn't always a happy one. As terrifying as change can be, your happiness depends on your ability to face the unknown. Number 4. Discomfort in Solitude Do you enjoy spending time alone, or do you rely on other people to make you feel confident and valuable? This is a very common sign of fake happiness. You thrive in the spotlight, you're happy and energetic in social situations, but as soon as you're alone, your happiness disappears. In social settings, you're busy and distracted, so your sadness, loneliness, and regret fade into the background. But when you're alone, you're forced to confront the emotions that you try to ignore. All of that negativity rises to the surface and you may become desperate for a way out. Spending time alone is a good measure of your happiness and satisfaction. If you're miserable every time your friends leave the room, you may not be as happy as you think. Number 5. Settling for Less Many people settle for mediocre lives because they're afraid of failure, change, or disappointment. They resign themselves to a lifetime of dissatisfaction, and that dissatisfaction changes their outlook on life itself. You may think to yourself, my job is boring, but no one actually enjoys their job. In other words, you believe that something you don't enjoy is all you deserve. You may convince yourself that life is supposed to be frustrating, boring, or unhappy. But that's not true. Many people pursue greater goals that stimulate and inspire them every day. Many people find a sense of purpose, meaning, and happiness in the careers they build and the adventures they take. Yeah, that means walking a more difficult path, but life is what you make it. By settling for something you don't enjoy, you're denying yourself the chance to find greater happiness. Number 6. Proving Yourself Do you show off how great your life is? Many people who are fake happy spend hours insisting their life is perfect. 
They want people to believe they're happy and successful, but they know deep down that they're not. This comes from a 2017 study in the American Journal of Preventive Medicine. Researchers studied the relationship between happiness and social media. Nowadays, many people use social media to paint a picture-perfect vision of their lives. They post images of beautiful scenery, they brag about envy-inducing vacations, and they use their supposedly happy lives to gain likes, comments, and views. But are these people as happy as they seem? Well, it turns out frequent social media posters are three times more likely to be lonely and unhappy. By posting idealistic shots and smiling selfies, they're trying to convince the world of something that isn't true. They're driven by a desperate need to prove their success, their satisfaction, and their happiness, but they know deep down it's not real. Number 7. False Optimism Are you an optimistic person? Some people think that happiness and optimism are the same thing. You may know someone who's always looking at the bright side of life, but that doesn't mean they're happy. In fact, their constant positivity may be a sign of fake happiness. Some optimistic people force themselves to be positive even when they're sad or angry. They believe the optimistic things they're saying, but they rely on these lies to disguise a deeper negativity. Now, in some cases, people are optimistic because they're scared to acknowledge their real feelings. Below the surface, they're frustrated and lonely, but they stuff those feelings down and they put on a happy face. But here's something that few people realize. Happiness isn't always happy. People who live genuinely happy lives experience a wide spectrum of emotions, ranging from joy and pride to rage and disappointment. Without a spectrum of emotions, you cannot recognize when you're happy and when you're not. In other words, you need emotions like sadness and anger to understand what happiness feels like. So don't pretend that everything is perfect and positive. You don't need to be optimistic 24-7. A happy life is colored by a range of emotions, so let yourself experience your feelings no matter what they are. Number 8. Chosen Isolation Do you choose to be alone? Some people are extroverted and outgoing. Others are introverted and independent. But whatever kind of person you are, you cannot live your life alone. Many people who are fake happy choose to isolate themselves from the world. They say things like, people are a waste of my time, or I don't need anyone but myself. They insist that they're better off alone, but their quest for independence is driven by fear. These people claim to be happy in solitude, but they're actually afraid to connect with others. Maybe they're worried about getting hurt. Maybe they don't know how to bond with new people. Either way, they're terrified of socializing, so they hide inside a safe, isolated bubble. If someone really enjoys spending time alone, then you won't hear them complaining or making excuses. They don't feel the need to justify their independence because they're truly happy spending time in solitude. On the other hand, someone who's fake happy justifies their social isolation to other people. They claim to be a loner by choice, but they're ignoring a deeper issue. So if this sounds familiar, stop denying yourself the connections you're looking for. Meet some new people, do something social once or twice a week. You may think you're better off alone, but your isolation is making you unhappy. Number 9. Arrogant Dishonesty Do you make up stories to get attention? Do you invent achievements out of thin air? Arrogant people feel compelled to prove their success even if that success isn't real. They'll create incredible stories and brag about imaginary achievements because they crave compliments and praise. You may get some kind of pleasure from the approval and the attention, but that's not happiness. It's a temporary boost, but as soon as people stop paying attention to you, your happiness is going to fade. So instead of fabricating stories, take pride in the life you actually lead. If you want to accomplish more, then go out there and do something, because real happiness comes from your experiences, not your stories. Number 10. Past Regrets Are you trapped in the past? Many unhappy people insist they're living their best possible life. They exaggerate how happy they are, they claim every situation worked out for the best, and they criticize every opportunity that didn't fall in their favor. This is especially common among people who get fired from their jobs or fail to acquire new ones. You might say, I really didn't want that job anyway, but deep down there's nothing you wanted more. 
You're trying to disguise your frustration and regret, but there's nothing wrong with getting upset. It's okay to be sad or angry about a missed opportunity. But remember that life goes on. If you want to be genuinely happy, stop trying to justify the past. Let go of the mistakes you made and the opportunities you missed. Start living in the present, because real happiness is within your reach. Hey, thank you for watching Top Think and be sure to subscribe because more incredible content is on the way.